Okay, good morning. I wanted to go over the classwork examples with you. So you had more practice. I opened up my, the Kami document. So you have your video notes. On page two is actually your classwork. So let's take a look at it. The so number one, you have this line. And what I'm asking you to do is to find the distance of this segment. How, uh, what is the distance? What's the length? And the only way we can really do that is by drawing a right triangle. So I want you to go to shapes and then we can insert a line down. I'm gonna go ahead and make this about a two and let's make this red. So when we talk about the vertical distance that's up and down, that's our rise. So I'm gonna make a straight line down. I'm trying to create a triangle here. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, and then I wanna go ahead and finish by making um, a horizontal line over. And the question is, how many units down? That would be the rise, okay? And again, the rise, even though we're going down, is not gonna be negative because distance is always positive. So if I count, I'm gonna say there's one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my text box. The rise is gonna be four. And the run, which is vertical, is one. Now, I'm going to say this again. This is four. This is one. Well, let me get my text box. Okay, perfect. Now, this is what uh, we say is A. So, A is four, and then B is one. So now I have to square four, which we know four times four is 16. Okay, four times four is 16. And then what's one times one? One times one is one, right? Okay, so now I'm asking you to take 16 plus one, which is what? 16 plus 1 is 17. Perfect. So in order to figure out this distance, we have to, if 17 is c squared, we have to do the opposite of a square. So what is the opposite of a square? The opposite of a square is actually a square root. I don't think we have a square root symbol in here. Um, I'm not seeing it. Mm, that's that symbol right there, but I'm going to go ahead and draw it, okay? So let's draw square root. So I'm going to take the square root of 17 on the left, and I can also take the square root of c squared, okay? So then when we talk about the square root of 17, I'm going to write the square root of 17, and then this is something I need to put in my calculator, okay? The square root of 17. Okay, square root of 17. Um, so the square root of 17, if you put it in a calculator, and I know you can't see, okay? But if you go to an online calculator, what, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a square root button so, but if you just put 17 and then you hit square root, oh, excuse me, I'm going to put the square root of 17. I'm doing it on my online calculator too. Square root of 17. We should get 4.12310, etc. So we're just going to take it to the first two decimal places. And so that's going to be 4.12, okay? So in my text box, I'm going to put 4.12. Is that right? Perfect. Okay. Love it. All right. Let's do one more example together. Okay. So we have this line segment. We have to draw a right triangle. A right triangle means I want to drop a straight line down at a 90 degree angle, straight line down, and then that would be my rise, and then I want to go across. So we're always going to be drawing with a line tool. Let's go ahead and make the rise red, 
Um, I'm going to make a straight line down. Nice. Actually, let's undo that because I kind of messed up. Let me do it again. Straight line down. There we go. That's my run. And then, I mean, the, sorry, that's my rise. And then across is my run. Love it. So now it might be hard to see. I'm going to go ahead and make these jumps so that you can actually count these units together. It's not something you have to do, but sometimes it's a little bit helpful. So I'm going to count my jumps. I'm going to say, okay, how many going down? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So that's going to be the rise. The rise is six. Now, what is the run? What is the run? Let's go ahead and draw it. Let me see. I'm counting my squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So the run is eight. Perfect. Now, if you have your rise and your run, the Pythagorean formula says if you take the rise and the run and you square those sides, and then you find the square root, we're going to find this distance um, of the segment, okay? So the rise is 6, the run is 8. So I have to square them together. So 6 squared, 6 times 6 is 36. 8 squared, 8 times 8 is 64. Perfect. If you add 36 and 64, what do you get? 36 plus 64. You should get 100, right? Now, that's not the answer. It doesn't mean that the distance of the of the line of segment, um, which is called the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is the longest side. It's not 100. What is the opposite of a square? Opposite of a square is square root. So I want to square root both sides. Now, square root means what two numbers multiplied together would give you 100? What do you think? Put square root of 100 in your calculator. What are you going to find? I'm going to find that it's 10. Now, 10 is still going to equal 10. Oh, sorry. I need to actually put for C, excuse me, this is going to be the square root boom, of 100 ah, is 10. Perfect. Now, one thing I didn't mention before is you should be putting right here on the graph that that's 10. Just like we found the distance on number 1, the distance of number 1 was 4.12. And I want to point something out, that in a right triangle, you have a rise and a run, but the longest side is called the hypotenuse, and that's opposite of the 90 degree angle. So we found the longest side in each one of these uh, triangles, okay? All right, so I showed you number one and two. Hopefully you'll be able to complete the rest of the classwork on your own. You at least need to do uh, three and four. All right, have a wonderful day.